Sunderland are now 11 without loss in League One, but more draws than wins in that time. They've lost ground on the automatic promotion places as a result. Bristol Rovers have gone on an unbeaten run of their own. Five without loss to drag themselves out of the bottom four. Points needed for both sides for very different reasons at opposite ends of League One at the Memorial Ground this afternoon. Last forward from McLaughlin. Honeyman. The overlap. Cross for a night. It's sliced behind. It's a corner. James. A push on Flanagan. No, says the referee. McLaughlin. Be careful. He comes out to Rodman. Low shot just wide of the target. It's fair to say that John McLaughlin had that one covered. Moving forward, Will Grigg unable to win it. Moving forward, get it. Still going, McGeady ends it up. Lanced away by Craig for a corner. Smashed forward. Because we've got some more defending to do here. Craig. He's missed that one. It's a corner. Taken by Craig. So back across the face of goal and it. Greg with a touch. And there was 09. He doesn't score many goals to fall back. Luke 09 scores for Sunderland, who take the lead. Didn't deal with the corner, Bristol Rovers, and they left Will Grigg unmarked at the back post. The man who usually gobbles him up as a goal scorer. Proved to be the provider this time and the Sunderland fans have something to cheer. Okay. Ready to torment the Rovers defence, but two against one. Didn't work in his favour there. Come down for Led Bitter. Forward by James. James continuing his run. And flag. Back to James again. Reese James with a cross. Good delivery as well. It's good header away by Lockett. Scooped forward. This time by Led Better. And this time the flag is up. Against Watmore. Nudged away by Dunn. Overs. Showing some improvement under the new manager, Graham Coughlin. Looking for an equaliser, but that shot was off target. Comes Des. It's a return and points it forward. Bulldozes his way forward there was Circum. Comes Dennis. Hangs it up high. And it just over the top of the crossbar. Well, Harris and Riley were both waiting. Gibson Carver in towards that near post. Sunderland defend it for the time being at least, and eventually it's cleared away into no man's land. Well, by Honeyman comes a cross, glanced away. Rovers with a chance to break away. Good defending, though. No. From Dunn. A little bit scrappy and a congested. Who can open it up? What mop? It's handball. And the referee is given the free kick.
Giddy might fancy this. Giddy did fancy it. 2 0. He's into double figures for the season in League One, Aidan McGeady. And he finds the back of the net with an inch perfect free kick over the wall. And the goalkeeper, Jack Bonham, was a mere spectator. Perfectly executed free kick, and those Sunderland fans behind the goal can breathe a huge sigh of relief. He's in the attack, it's turned behind as he stumbled to the ground. Tom Flanagan. Circum with the corner. Swings it out, bounce. Just wide, there wasn't much in it. Had up, hit the stanchion on the way. Out for a goal kick. And night. McGeady, two goal scorers combining. It down in the middle of the midfield lock here. He's ended up giving it away. And it's going to be a free kick. This is their own downfall there, Sunderland. It's going to be a yellow card as well. So we'll try and get this over the wall and down. And he got it over the wall, but he couldn't get it down. Over the top of the crossbar and out. Dennis. Others have battled, but Sunderland just had that extra quality. Third goal would kill it once and for all. Good running by Morgan. He's got plenty of space. He's got plenty of time. He picks out the cross. It's good over the top of the cross, but what an opportunity that was. Down the channel, and the clock is ticking down nicely here for Sunderland. And well, by O'Neill. It's a good running by Morgan. Chops it back. And the shot is from Charlie Wyke. It was wide. Mike is sniffing at the back post. Good skill from Ledbetter. Chasing things down. Down the flank is Max Power. It's going to be a corner. Two from Ledbetter. Goalkeeper got a punch to it of sorts. Rovers do get it away. Kubiak unable to make it stick for Rovers. Holmes Dennis to deliver it. Put away by Flanagan. Now the chance of the breakaway. It's two against two. Can they make the most of it? Oh, it's been prodded wide. Great running from Lewis Morgan, who's done terrifically well since he's come on. And he crossed it to his fellow substitute. And Charlie Wyke, for the second time since coming up, has prodded it wide. And Sunderland manager Jack Ross has urged his side to turn his large quantity of draws into wins if they are to push for automatic promotion. And that's exactly what his players have done here this afternoon. Relegation threatened, Bristol Rovers lacked the quality that Sunderland possessed. And in the end, a comfortable three points for Sunderland will keep the pressure on the top two. Final score here, Bristol Rovers nil, Sunderland two.